We are nearing the finish line of the 2025 Atlantic Basin hurricane season. And before we get there at the end of this month, uh, we still have a little ways to go here. What is that, uh, four weeks or so? Thankfully, after the last several busy seasons, the United States avoided a direct strike from a hurricane. That doesn't mean it was a slow season. There were three Category 5 storms that formed. A Melissa, we know, was a devastating storm that made a landfall at peak intensity last week. If this season is over, what can we learn from it? Uh, Dr. Levi Silvers is a research scientist at Colorado State's Department of Atmospheric Sciences. He joins us now to talk about this unique season. Uh, Levi, th thanks for being uh, here with us on Fox Weather. This was a bit of a head scratcher of a season in a lot of ways, a lot to unpack. Uh, what was most interesting or, or most unusual to you? Thank you for having me. It was an interesting season to watch. Um, it was in some ways a little bit quieter than we expected. We expected a few more tropical storms to form, but we didn't expect quite so many uh, major hurricanes to form. So that was uh, peculiar to watch this, the relatively low number of storms developing really intensely. And um, it also was interesting how little impact those storms were having early on in the season, which unfortunately changed when Melissa came along and impacted um, the Caribbean so devastatingly. But that um, basically a lot of strong storms and not as many overall. Right, uh, right. And Colorado State's forecast was for an above average season. You had mentioned uh, it was above average by some measures when we're talking about uh, major hurricanes, but the overall amount of storms uh, stayed a bit lower. And, and to your point, uh, can you draw any conclusions? I, I know a seasonal forecast, it's something we talk about a lot on Fox Weather, doesn't say anything about where storms will go, uh, but conventional wisdom being more storms greater possibility of a landfall. Why, why the storm track was what it was this season? Uh, well, there were a lot of large scale conditions that were steering the storms out into the Atlantic kind of before they, uh, before they got too far to the West. And so that's what we were seeing earlier in the season. And then uh, we had so much warm water in the Caribbean, as you know, that once the storm, once the precursors to Melissa developed in the Caribbean, it was really already there, surrounded by uh, you know, inhabited places with lots of people. Um, but before that, the large scale weather conditions are really just pushing the storms out into the Atlantic before they got too close to the United States and the Caribbean. Levi, I got to ask you Levi, ab about you. Melissa. This was a weird storm for a number of reasons. One, uh, being a tropical wave that emerged off the west coast of Africa, maintained itself all the way across the MDR, which even in the heart of the season, uh, some of those waves were having a hard time doing. Then it moves into the Caribbean and just undergoes uh, incredible, uh, extreme rapid intensification. What were your thoughts on, on what we saw uh, last week and the week before that as this was developing out of Melissa? Well, two things. One is what I mentioned with the, the warm water in the Caribbean was just so, so warm. And this was true last year as well, where we knew if anything really got its act together and was well organized in the Caribbean, it was going to take off quickly. Um, but you're right, it took a long time for Melissa for the precursor seeds to get there. Um, but it didn't look good at all. You know, going through most of the tropical Atlantic, what became Melissa was really disorganized, and it was not obvious that was going to become a major storm. Um, what really changed is the wind shear. The vertical wind shear um, decreased at some point, and once that vertical wind shear decreased, it kind of put the beginnings of Melissa into a very favorable environment where it was able to line up perfectly and really use that fuel from the sea surface to intensify really rapidly. So if that wind shear had not decreased when it did, Melissa would have never really developed as it did. So really um, the combination of the sea surface temperature and the wind shear. Yeah, uh, perfect, perfect set of terrible uh, meteorological circumstances, truly. And uh, right there at the end of the season, we get hit with uh, a terrible storm, uh, folks down in Jamaica. That's Dr. Levi Silvers with the Colorado State Department of Atmospheric Sciences. Uh, always great to, uh, to talk tropics with the good folks at CSU. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for having us. You bet.